Welcome to the special edition of the NPL Investing and Servicing Summit here in Athens, uh, hosted by DDC Financial uh, Group. We have the pleasure to have with us Bogdan Olteanu, head of uh, commercial uh, CITR Group and former deputy governor of the National Bank of uh, Romania. Bogdan, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. Bogdan, as we say, uh, you are a former deputy governor of National Bank of Romania. So you, uh, your look is really uh, interesting because you um, experienced many years, uh, and maybe in particular uh, the most interesting uh, last years uh, of the economical cycle. Let's go um, uh, fastly to the overall uh, framework, uh, in particular, of course, uh, concerning uh, Romania. How hard is for the uh, banking? sector in Romania and the whole economic cycle to move forward with such a burden of NPL assets. And the Romanian banking sector has been uh, quite hardly hit by the crisis, as many other sectors are aware. And the Romanian economy has taken uh, a strong, uh, strong uh, hit. Uh, there were 15-17% uh, of the GDP lost in the first two years after the 2008, uh, before rebound started. Uh, banking sector also uh, marked uh, significant losses in the range of billions of euros. However, it is worth mentioning that the uh, banking sector in Romania has not been supported by public money. They've been able to bring in money from uh, shareholders and consolidate their uh, balance sheets through Uh, own resources. Uh, they went through a couple of years of hell and uh, I may say that uh, up to this year they managed to clean out their balance sheets. The rate of NPLs, uh, of, of actually of NPEs, of non, uh, non-performing exposures, in Romania is uh, currently at 4% which is very much in the European average of 3% and it's uh, beyond any kind of, uh, of concern. So I would say that the banking system is now clean and able to finance the economy and in case anything bad would follow, um, quite consolidated to absorb a crisis better than uh, it was able to absorb the 2008 crisis. And let's enter your uh, daily business because you mentioned, of course, the NPL market, uh, the uh, stress assets. Uh, what do you do in uh, CITR Group? What we do in Romania, because we started in Romania and we are a Romanian uh, group, uh, we do everything around distress. Uh, we do distress investment, we do uh, lending to distress, we do insolvency and we're the fir- number one on the market for, for many, many years. Lately, we decided to expand our practice in, uh, in the region and uh, looking at the situation of uh, NPLs in, in the region, we've uh, decided to move first to Cyprus and we opened uh, our Cyprus insolvency practice two years ago. Now we're looking, of course, at Greece, which is the most uh, spectacular situation in resp- with respect to the, to the NPLs. And uh, we are now here in Athens also for this reason of better understanding the market, better understanding the opportunities and mostly better understanding the challenges. Yeah, so you, you pointed out uh, many of the uh, best countries in terms of uh, NPL uh, market and investment and uh, in terms of uh, challenges. Uh, are there any noteworthy transactions or challenges uh, that are coming up for a CTR group in the next days, in the next month or in the next hours here? Huh. Uh, well, it would be really noteworthy for us and it would be an honor for us to open up in Greece and we hope that uh, in the following months we will uh, do that. Uh, what we do at home is that uh, by the end of the year we would have uh, collected uh, more than 30 million euros from investors and invested those money into company industrial companies in trouble. We want to have by the end of the year a portfolio uh, of more than 10 industrial companies in distress which we rescue, turn around financially and operationally, relaunch, expand in the region and then uh, put back on the market. These are uh, the, main, uh, the, 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 the main targets for the closer future. Looking, of course, at the distress uh, assets, uh, there are different assets within them. Where do you see maybe, maybe more gain, maybe more safety or are there any hot topics in this moment? 
I would believe the hottest topic in the moment is that uh, new regulatory issues coming from uh, whatever, Brussels, Frankfurt, London, Paris, wherever all these regulatory agencies or financial sectors are today, uh, new regulations will uh, increase the non-performing portfolio, not only in the region, but everywhere else in Europe. Uh, tougher, tougher criteria for, uh, for evaluating the debtors will be in place uh, uh, even this year certainly next year for all the banks and that would bring more and more of the of the loans uh, into the non-performing uh, sector and this would be a challenge for the debtor of course for the bank but also it will be an opportunity for the market because companies which are uh, having a sound core companies which have their product which have their soul which which are which are vivid uh, could be Taken, uh, taken over at the right price rather than at a uh, balloon price and relaunch and expand it. Uh, Bogdan, you mentioned, of course, the regulators uh, and maybe uh, we, we can go back to the, your uh, past experience as a deputy governor of National Bank of uh, uh, Romania. Maybe we can say that markets and banking um, sector have adjusted and in the meantime, maybe uh, EU institutions uh, has not. This delay arguably is not a good signal for the uh, banking union um, either. Can we say that the question now is uh, regarding of course, NPL remains uh, therefore mostly political and as urgent as ever. Let's just imagine we're here in Greece and uh, we come from Crete and uh, we want to take a loan and uh, there's one bank in Athens regulated by Athens rules and uh, whose deposits are insured uh, by a deposit house in Athens, another bank in Thessaloniki with Thessaloniki rules and the Thessaloniki insurance and I a humble citizen from I don't know where, Hania, come here and I don't understand anything. What would be my protection? What would be my what would be my my my, my safety? Uh, that's why Europe is not full. It's not an open functional market as long as the banking union is not complete. Banking union has to include uh, a backstop for everyone, which is a common protection for all the banks. Let's put it like this. Banking union should have should include a common deposit guarantee fund. So citizens have to be protected equally. In Europe, there is obviously an inequality between countries, an inequality between economies, but there shouldn't be an inequality between citizens. And for the moment, the incomplete banking union creates unbalances in the European economy because it creates discrimination between citizens. Citizens in a country like Cyprus or Greece are less confident in their system than citizens in a country like the Netherlands. Therefore, money keeps flowing uh, from one country to another instead of being here, being reinvested here and helping to the development of the place here. And so, and we are really uh, running out of time uh, in this lack of actions by the real regulators and so in this lack of a real union, how much is important, uh, how much are they important moments like these of uh, this summit uh, focus on the investing and servicing on uh, MPL and uh, how much is important to debate and to uh, share the best practices maybe with the top professionals uh, of this sector? Well, first step in order to solve a problem is to understand the realities. Uh, and this is a great place to understand realities, to get to know each other better, to get to know the situations in our countries better, to get to see, to find better practices, best practices, whatever that means, but better practices we'll certainly find here and we'll try to copy, assume, take home. Uh, I think it's a very good environment with very good people, with uh, people interested to learn. Uh, and I certainly learned quite a lot listening to, to people speaking here. And it was, of course, a really good conversation with Bogdan Olteanu, which is now head of commercial as uh, CITR Group. But we remember that it was a former deputy governor of the National Bank of uh, Romania. Thank you for joining us and enjoy your summit. Thank you, Karma.